What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Savage. Much love, much respect. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you do hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification right next to it. Do yourself a favor. You will be notified of any uh, content, future content that I produce. Also, community posts, if I go live, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, I'm sure y'all seen uh, the thumbnail. Uh, I found out about this maybe about a week and a half ago. Blew my mind. Uh, I don't know why they moved him from death row. Maybe he got his death row sentence overturned, his condemned sentence overturned. I looked it up on Google. Can't really find any news about it. I found out about this because someone from that yard, somebody from that pen reached out to me. Okay, so before your boy sits there and runs you down on exactly where he's at and how he got there or whatever the case is, we're going to cover some ground basis when it comes to what the reality of the situation may be for this individual. Just because he's no longer on death row, just because he's no longer a condemned inmate. And I remember, I recall hearing something about that, like them uh, sending certain condemned inmates to back to the yards um i guess this that's what this is um obviously they know he's what you would call a high notoriety type of inmate so first thing first any followers any viewers any subscribers anybody that's got family uncles theos primos boyfriends girlfriends girlfriends who got boyfriends and uncles and theos and da, 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 your boy anybody that knows anybody in donovan rjd state prison donovan right san diego area anybody let everybody know that the man who murdered gabriel fernandez the coward who murdered gabriel fernandez is over there at that prison now he is uh gettable you know he's a target you know he's able to get gotten he should get got so this information that i came across i didn't just stumble across it by looking on inmate locator even though i've provided you the screenshot of inmate locator with his CDCR number, his his age, his admission date, blah, blah, blah. I need you to understand that I get information a certain way sometimes, and I don't like to put people's uh, identities out there. I don't, like, I don't want to put people in a bad way, but the information came to me because we do need to get this out there. Everybody needs to know where this piece of you know what I mean, is that everybody needs to know where he's at every every minute of his life. Any transfer he ever gets, anywhere he ever goes, we need to know where he's at. And we need to do our best to spread the word and get it back inside, you know what I mean, just to have more people aware of what's going on. Anyways, so this individual reaches out to me and tells me, hey, man, I need, I need you to know. Look, it, you can go on inmate locator, check it out. They moved him. Boom. Not only did they move him, but the two fibers got him. Keep in mind, this individual is not a two fiver, not an independent rider, not a, a rider, not a, a not a GBG, nothing, nothing of none, none of those gangs or nothing. He's just a regular dude who happens to have one of them. Bam, reached out, let me know. Let me know that there was also a recording of it, a video that got taken down on TikTok of them actually getting him. So from what I was told, now listen, this is all word of mouth, right? This is so far him being an RJD Donovan checked out, right? So that's the one part that I can give this dude, you know what I mean, the benefit of the doubt. Right now, he's working on trying to get his hands on that video. I don't know how successful he will be. However, maybe he can get his hands on some paperwork. That would be amazing. So if you know any of the guys who actually were involved in getting him that might have some paperwork and that could send it out, you know, your boy would love to get his hands on that. It would. Anyone who knows me, they know I've covered this Gabriel Fernandez story from front to end. I came with I came with videos and insight and was able to get my hands on certain interviews that no one else could. I had news stations and news anchors reaching out to me trying to get a hold of Isabel. Trust me, we went in depth with this. This is something that has tugged at the strings of millions of Americans' hearts, mine's included. I still carry his picture in my phone. Any phone I will ever have, you'll see Gabriel Fernandez's picture in my gallery. Okay, from what I'm told, he got got. The two fibers got on him. They smashed him. Let him have it, right? However, someone like that don't deserve to get smashed. They deserve to get butchered. They deserve to be, you know, on a hospital ride. You know what I mean? On, on a helicopter ride to the hospital. Hopefully not to make it, not to survive that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but in the same sense, they, if they still did what they did, much respect because they could have had release dates. They could have been going home. They could have had their own family. Who knows if they didn't sacrifice that just to get their hands on them. So let's not let's not get too crazy and judging them and saying, oh, because I know a lot of the haters will say, oh, if he was over here, we would have killed him. OK, well, he wasn't. He was where he was and he got got by who he got got by. Now, 
this video is for the purpose really just for awareness. I kind of feel like this transfer was done on some sneaky tip. Like I feel like he was it was done in the dark and I feel like no, it's not on Google. You can't look up a transfer, you can't even look up an attack. So it's almost like nothing this dude's a ghost. It's like he's still on death row and that's what they want everyone to believe. So let's talk about the realistic reality of the situation cuz I'm really hoping y'all can get in my comment section and y'all know somebody who knows somebody that might know him or know that he's there or know a CO who works there that can give me the rundown and either prove this to be true or prove this to not be true, man. Let's just get to the facts here. But either way, I looked on MA Locator. Y'all saw the screenshot. I provided that shit for you. Come on now. CDC number, admission date, date of birth, his age, his first and last name, and the prison he's at. Explain that to me. So back to what I was saying. If he got got the first time, like old boy saying he got got by the two fivers, He'll never be he'll never be able to be around two fibers again. That's one. Already, so you're gonna have to PC up into into another PC. You'd already think his case is high notoriety. So the fact that he got got already by two fibers lets you know CDCR is one hand washes the other. They're they're helping out the situation here. I think everyone can agree and come together with the fact that this guy no one wants him around. So you know when a situation like that takes place, inadvertently and. Uh, and very uh, inconspicuously, one hand can wash the other. The system can work with uh, the inmates. The inmates can work with the system. And we can find a way to set it up to where, bada bing, bada boom, he just got got. Oh, well. How did that happen? You know, true accident. We don't know how that happened, just an accident. Okay? So, unfortunately, the fact that the one chance to get him... Uh, you know, because sometimes that's all you will be afforded by the system. They can't really front themselves off too much. They can't just, you know, make it known that they just fed him to the lions. So uh, if he got got, you know, and I'm sure he did. He's under an immense amount of protection and security right now because he has to be. You got to understand this guy's talking to side techs. This guy's talking to therapists. He's talking to chapels or the priests. He's talking to anybody he can talk to. He's talking to committee, captains, sergeants, lieutenants, and the ward and telling them how in fear for his safety he is of anybody and everybody, especially PC. PC is not a place where you go with messed up charges to feel safe. That it may be once upon a time. It was. It no longer is a safe space for anybody with bad charges. PC is a place where majority of dropouts will be People with bad charges do go, and they might be able to program in these lower level yards, but if they find themselves with a lot of points, like I'm sure he has for such a violent and heinous crime, guess what? You're going to hit that level four yard and realize PC's not PC after all. It's actually worse. People are more hungry to get to you. So anyways, anyways, he is under an immense amount of security protection. He's probably in the shoe. If he's not in the shoe, I mean, in the hole, if he's not in the hole, he's probably on his way out of that prison on a transfer to a whole separate prison. So he's going to play this ping pong effect to all these different pins. And we need to make sure that we keep tabs on this coward. We got to make sure we keep tabs on every single transfer that he is sent to, because I promise you, we can find a viewer that knows somebody in every single prison that this guy goes to, and we can get the word to every single prison. It is our job. It is our duty. It is our obligation to young Gabriel Fernandez to make sure we do not take our boot off of his neck until the day he's gone. I'm not a judge, jury, and executioner, but you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm rocking with Gabriel on this one till the wheels fall off. So I'm gonna, I, if it's avenging him, if it's, a, it's, if it's that kind of way, listen, man. When child molesters get out the pen, they got to go on Megan's Law, right? They got to, like, let all their neighbors know who they are, where they are, right? So let's hold him to the same accountability. We're not going to let you skate. We're not going to let you take the easy way out because you in prison or in jail and can lay low and hide at level ones or level twos and never. So will he be able to get God again anytime soon? Probably not. I'm sure he's on some keep away status completely on his own time probably in the hole um i'm not sure how cdc's working with the overpopulation crisis they don't they no longer let inmates do what inmates were doing between 2000 and like 13 and all the way to 2000 and like 16 17 you were able to sit in the hole and say i want to take back my s and y chrono i want to go back gp 
you were able to do all kinds of weird things like with your status to stay in the hole because if they didn't know where to put you they would just put you in a single cell and leave you in the hole forever you i think you at one point you were even able to like stay in the shoe um you can't do that no more they stole the right from inmates to sit there and like pc up without having to actually pc up you know what i mean like there were so many weird ways you could stay stuck which was inmate, which was what inmates liked to do because they didn't like to deal with cellies or they didn't want to go back to the yard. They had acquired so many enemies. So for this one, him being get, him getting got, him being a high notoriety case, uh, this is he's in a very tough situation, and I don't know how long he's going to be safeguarded because I get CDCR has to do their job. I get the sergeants, the lieutenants, the correction officers need to do their job. I get it. But I can't see any humans on the face of this earth um, wanting to do anything for this individual. You know what I'm saying? Not not wanting to give him a sack lunch, give him a bar of soap or toilet paper when he runs out and he has to beat on the door. Hey, officer, I need some toilet paper. Uh, I can't see one CO. And if you're any, if there's any COs out there that can relay or maybe shed some light on how they would handle business, I know a lot of you guys have to turn it off and go to work and just do your job, but there's still little, you know, uh, indirect or, you know, low key ways and subtle ways that you can kind of still do your job, but, you know, single him out. So that would be interesting to get your guys' take on that one. Uh, any correction officers, anyone who would, or, or is trying to become a correction officer, um, Nonetheless, I really wanted to shed this light on you, man. Uh, for the two fivers who did get on him, if that's what happened, you know, much respect, you know, from, from Savvy out here, man. Uh, I send mine. I appreciate that, man. It could have been anybody. I don't even care if it was the GBGs who got on him or anybody. Um, anybody who got on this dude, man, it would always be much love, much respect. I appreciate that. I appreciate your sacrifice. And let's see if we can't just come back a little bit harder and finish the job the second time around, you know, maybe throw a couple lifers in the mix and uh, let's take that win, man. You know what I'm saying? Let, let's just let's just go ahead and be the huckleberry in that situation. Uh, close the casket. But I thought y'all would trip out on this, man. It's a Gabriel Fernandez update. And, and uh, we ain't taking our boot off his neck. We're going to follow this guy around to the rest of his days, man. So he might as well just go ahead and just pull his own plug, if you know what I mean. Much love, much respect. I'm out.